What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London and just now my YouTube channel has passed 500,000 subscribers. That's an absolutely unreal number, something very, very difficult to imagine in my head and actually quantify and realize what that actually means. I feel like I need confetti or balloons or something here in my room in order to celebrate this monumental achievement. But really what I want to say is thank you to you guys who continue to watch my videos and support me pretty much no matter what type of video I upload, no matter how many breaks I take or how long I'm gone for or anything like that. You guys have been very consistent in showing me support and love and for that I just want to say thank you. So at the beginning of this year on January the 2nd 2020 I was on a flight back from Greece coming here to the UK in order to start the new year and I wrote down some of my new year's resolutions in my little red journal and at the very very top the very first thing that I wrote was 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. So at the time I was at 100,000 subscribers and when I was deciding what number to write there, I was gonna write 200,000. But then I told myself, you know what? Just write something absolutely huge, astronomical that will probably never happen. It's better to have a really, really big goal and just reach for that. So I wrote down 500,000. And here we are. So usually to celebrate this type of milestone on my YouTube channel, I would do a Q&A, but I thought, you know what, this time let's do something a little bit different and let me share with you guys 50 facts that you don't know about me. So first things first, I am one meter, 88 centimeters tall. I get this question all the time across YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So I thought I would address this right here at the beginning for everyone who wants to know. So both my parents are Jordanian. I was born in Vancouver, Canada, and then I moved to Greece for about 18 years before I moved back to Canada to do my undergraduate degree in Toronto. And now I'm studying medicine in the United Kingdom. So I don't really feel like I have any one country that I belong to. I feel very multicultural and that's something that's shaped me into the person that I am today. And I think it's probably one of the best things that's happened to me. Next, my front tooth, this one over here, is actually fake. I broke it going down a water slide backwards and when I got down to the bottom of the water slide, I smashed my head down and I completely broke this tooth. If you look really close in some of my videos, you might be able to see it. Around the age of nine or 10, I was actually bitten by a lion here on my thigh. Yes, you heard that right. I was bitten by an actual lion. The way this happened is that I was at a zoo in Abu Dhabi and one of the zookeepers had a lion on a leash and was just walking around the park. So being the cool kid that I am, I decided that I wanted to pet it and I did pet the lion, but after I did, it bit me. Now, the reason that I'm still here today is because this lion wasn't an adult lion. It was a baby lion, still a big, big lion, not like a little cub. It was a big lion, but still a baby lion. I haven't broken any bones in my body, but when I was younger, I did have internal bleeding in my left foot after a trampolining accident. As an adult, I've fractured my pinky. I've damaged my medial collateral ligament in my knee, and I've also damaged the collateral ligament in my proximal interphalangeal joint of this finger. I have a very, very strong aversion to the texture of airy foods or substances in my mouth. For example, things like toothpaste, whipped cream, um, cucumbers, spongy cakes or desserts and things like that. Even just the thought of having those textures or feelings in my mouth just makes me want to gag. When I was younger, I used to be a huge video game nerd. I've put something like 500 hours into Call of Duty just on my PC alone, not excluding all the time I've spent on Xbox. I also used to play games like RuneScape. God knows how many hours I've put into that. I'm allergic to a bunch of things, but most notably cat and dog fur, and then the classic pollen and dust in the house. Along the topic of allergies, I have a skin condition called dermatographia, which is a Greek word that directly translates to writing on the skin. So if I take a closed object like this pen over here, and then I write out the word, let's say hello on my forearm without applying really any pressure at all, just sort of mapping out the word hello using this pen, I'll show you guys the before and after. So before it looks like this, completely normal arm. And I'll check in with you guys in a couple of questions and show you what happens. My 10th fact is actually a reverse fact. I want you guys to let me know something interesting or unique about you in a comment down below. I'd love to hear a little bit more about the people who are actually watching my videos and supporting me on this channel. Number 11, I am absolutely addicted to coffee. I'm drinking coffee right now. I'm drinking coffee in every single one of my videos, whether that's on or off camera. I even made an entire video about the different types of coffee I drink, how I drink them and things like that. If you guys have got any interesting 
ways of brewing coffee or any coffee blends that I should check out, do let me know in a comment down below. I like to think that I get all of my work ethic and my discipline from my dad. He's an absolute genius. He attended two universities at the same time to get two different degrees at the same time. He's extremely knowledgeable in the worlds of business and finance. He always keeps his cool and thinks in a very logical way. I really look up to him. I like to think that I get my artistic and creative side from my mom. She's an interior designer and she's the one who sort of sparked an interest in drawing for me. So the big human skeleton that you guys see on my wall in most of my videos and the heart that has a tree growing out of it as well. I actually drew those. They're not stickers on the wall or things that I bought online. I drew them in my first year of medical school. And then in high school, I drew this like huge scorpion all over my wall above my bed. All right, quick little check in on my arm. H-E-L-L-O. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe it needs different lighting, but there's like an H here and then an E, L, L, and O. If you're wondering, it doesn't really hurt at all. It's only really bothersome if I like bump into something with my arm or I scratch my face particularly hard, then I'll get these big lines and bumps on them that go away after something like 15 or 20 minutes. I've also got a twin sister. She's a lawyer working here in London. We actually live together. Her room is just behind me over there. And I see you guys getting confused all the time between my sister and my girlfriend. So let's clarify this once and for all right now. This is my sister, Noor, and this is my girlfriend, Alexia. Noor, Alexia, sister, girlfriend. My outro that you guys see at the end of all of my videos where I say, I'll see you in the next one, peace and then I close my hand over the camera. That's actually inspired by somebody called Optic Hex. He used to be this very, very big Call of Duty player back in the day. His outro sounds something like this. So guys, as always, this has got Hex. Okay, next is that I have asthma. I've had asthma ever since I was a kid. It was a lot worse when I was younger and I sort of have grown out of it to some extent as I've grown older. I carry two inhalers with me all the time. I've got my blue salbutamol reliever inhaler here and then my inhaled corticosteroid um, purple preventer inhaler over here. I keep these in the top drawer next to my desk. I have some in my bag and I also have some in the closet. So I always make sure that I have them around. <clears throat> Thankfully, as an adult, it hasn't really been too serious. I mostly get symptoms when I do a lot of exercise or any time that I laugh very hard. Laughing is the best way to absolutely ruin my breathing. The first time I applied to medical school back in 2013, I was rejected by all four universities and it was probably the saddest time of my life. Looking back on it now, I'm so happy that it happened because I got to go to Toronto and have four years of an amazing life experience and I wouldn't change that for the world, but at the time it was very, very brutal and difficult to go through. I've made a couple of videos about this, so I'll try and link them in the description down below. Next is that I'm an absolute beast at Mario Kart on the original Wii. I challenge anyone to a tournament in that game and if you can beat me, I will publicly apologize to you on my Instagram. Generally speaking, I'm a very happy and positive person. It's very difficult to make me angry and few things will make me upset. I tend to brush a lot of things off my shoulder and forget about them and just move on. The way that I think about it is I would hate to look back on my day or on my week or on my month and think that I spent any significant amount of time being upset about something or being worried about something. I like to try and take things easy as they come, as they go, and sort of make the best of a bad situation or try and always look at the silver lining in life and of things that are happening to me. I always, always, always shower right before I go to sleep. I can't possibly imagine getting into my bed being dirty after a full day of going out and activity and things like that. On top of that, I get really warm and hot and bothered when I'm sitting in bed. And so having a shower right before I get under the covers, make sure that I'm cool enough to give myself something like 15, 20 minutes where I can fall asleep before I get too hot and bothered and it just becomes difficult. While growing up in Greece, we had so many different pets in the house. Over an 18 year period, we have had seven cats, two dogs, uh, many, many different birds, some that we even breeded. I had a budgie that would chill on my shoulder, which was also really fun. We had a big parrot, two turtles, many tortoises, hamsters, guinea pigs, a newt, many different types of fish, including a school of piranhas at some point. And I think that's it. And just to reiterate, we didn't have all of these in the house at the same time. We've just had many, many pets over the years that we lived in Greece. I started this YouTube channel with the intention of helping somewhere between 10 and 50 people. And I told myself that when I had managed to achieve that, it would be a job well done. I honestly thought nobody would watch my videos, let alone grow an audience to this size. I just wanted to help a small amount of people get into medical school because I felt that I had gained a lot of knowledge through the medical 
medical school application process and I wanted to help some other people get accepted as well. I'm still good friends with almost all of my friends from high school. There's a group of about six of us that I've known since I was five years old and actually two of them live down the road from me right now. So we're all very, very close. They're almost like family and brothers to me. My sister and I were born two months premature and we have this running joke in the family that my sister received all of the good nutrients and all of the good food and I was sort of left there on the side because I'm the one who has the asthma and the allergies and my sister sort of turned out okay. I absolutely love exercise. I go running once or twice a week. I go to the gym once or twice a week and I also play basketball once a week. It's something that I would highly, highly recommend to everyone. I think everyone should be exercising. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm a very strong believer in the 10,000 hour rule, which says that if you put 10,000 hours of practice or effort into a skill, that you will become very, very good at it. Okay, this is an interesting one and one that I always knock wood when I talk about, but it's the fact that I can fall asleep very, very quickly. I feel like this is almost a superpower that I have. When I get into bed, generally speaking, it takes me less than five minutes, definitely less than 10 minutes to fall asleep most of the time. I honestly never want to lose this ability. It's something that I'm really, really happy about and I hope never goes away. So when I nap, I nap for either six minutes, 11 minutes, 16 minutes or 21 minutes. And the reason that I have that extra one minute on the end of each of those times is because napping in the middle of the day sometimes can be a slippery slope to wasting a whole bunch of time. And so in order to prevent procrastinating by scrolling through my phone or doing something else, instead of actually napping with the time that I told myself I want to nap, I set the timer for an extra one minute and I give myself exactly one minute to get into bed, close my eyes and be ready for sleep. That way I don't waste any time and the amount of time I told myself I was going to nap is how long I nap for. Next is that I'm an early bird for sure. I prefer to do all of my work and important activities in the morning. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, I'm sure you know that already. There's very few things that scare me in real life but bugs and specifically flying bugs is definitely one of them. If I'm out and about in the street or in a park, it doesn't bother me that much. But if I ever get a flying bug in my room or when I'm sitting down to eat lunch or dinner and I'm sitting outside or something like that, it is the absolute worst. I rarely deal with that by myself. I almost always call either Noor or Alexia to help me deal with the bee or the massive fly or whatever it is. All right, number 31 is that I'm not a fan of dessert at all. I really don't like cakes, brownies, um, anything spongy like I talked about before. Generally, what we think about desserts, I really, really don't like. The only dessert type of thing that I eat is ice cream. And only recently I've started incorporating chocolate into my diet. I used to only eat chocolate once every couple of months but now that I'm on the wards for long periods of time, I find that having chocolate snacks is actually really helpful throughout the day. So I'm introducing that to my diet now. So my favorite snack to eat throughout the day or pretty much any time is fruit. And it is not uncommon for me to eat huge, huge amounts of fruit in a single setting. I've definitely had a couple of times where I've eaten an entire watermelon in one setting or an entire melon, like five peaches or four apples or whatever. Whenever I eat fruit, I tend to eat it in very large batches. I once very bravely battled a raccoon which entered my student house in Toronto. I've been filming and editing videos on YouTube for a lot longer than this Karma Medic channel has been around. I used to film videos about anything from playing basketball to Call of Duty montages to me going on holiday or any just fun things I was doing in my day. I used to be the biggest Android fanboy. I would only use Samsung phones and I would hate on anyone who had an iPhone or other Apple products until I actually used an Apple product myself. The first Apple product that I bought was my MacBook followed by my iPhone and my iPad and I am never going back. I don't like sitting or being in one place or doing one thing for any long period of time at all. I really can't binge TV shows. I can't lay in bed on my phone for long periods of time. Like five, 10 minutes is plenty. I'm very purposeful, specific, and pretty much anal with how I spend my time. I always make sure that anything I choose to spend my time on is going to be a net positive for me or something that I really want to do. And I pretty much avoid anything else like the plague. When I was younger, I used to really not care about my style, my clothing, or my appearance when I left the house. I would go to my university lectures with like crazy spiky bed hair. I'd be wearing bright red track pants and a bright green t-shirt and I wouldn't even think about it. Sad times. Number 39, I actually love meeting you guys in real life. If you ever spot me on campus or walking around, please feel free to come say hi. It's really great to be able to put a face to some of the people who watch and support these videos, I actually get to interact with you guys and meet you in real life. When I was a kid, I always really, really, really wanted to go skydiving and bungee jumping, but my parents never let me. 
And now as I grow older, I'm becoming more and more scared of those two activities. So I feel like I need to go out there and do them quickly before I become too scared and decide not to do them at all. When I was younger, me and my sister were the biggest fans of Pokemon cards. We would do any chores around the house in exchange for like 50 cents or 60 cents from my parents. And we would accumulate our money over like a week or two in order to go down to the local toy store and buy a pack of Pokemon cards. And I still remember the price, it was $4.99. And I remember that because we'd always pay with a five euro note and get one cent in change. When I went to university for the first time, I didn't know how to cook rice or pasta. That's embarrassing. I've never been able to solve a three by three Rubik's cube using logic. And what I mean by that is by not memorizing an algorithm and just going through the motions. And that really, really bothers me. I would like to solve a Rubik's cube by logic. You know what? I should probably buy one and get on that. I'm very much a visual learner. I like to absorb and digest information in images, diagrams, flow charts, or anything like that. If I see information presented in that way, I'll remember it so much better than just blocks of text or by audio. I almost exclusively listen to rap music, everything from old school gangster rap to modern trap rap. It's my favorite genre by far. Number 46 is that I hate the London underground. It's hot, it's humid, it's loud, it's chaotic. Every time I ride it, I feel like it's sucking the soul and fun out of my life. When I was first starting out on YouTube, I didn't care at all about my appearance. And so I have videos of me on the internet looking like this. At the time, I just wanted to distribute what I thought was very valuable information. And I thought nobody was gonna watch my videos and nobody was gonna see them. So I didn't put any effort into fixing my hair or getting dressed properly before making a video. Number 49. So number 49 is the origin story behind this orange dog, which we've named Scrubs. Basically, one day I was in Toronto walking around this area called Kensington Market and I My all time favorite TV shows are Prison Break, Breaking Bad and Lost. Number 50, the final fact of this video is I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my videos. It's absolutely absurd that this many people care about what I'm doing on a daily or a weekly basis. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am and that you're getting out of it as much as I do. As long as you guys are enjoying the videos and continuing to support me, I'm gonna continue to make them. And all right guys, that is it. That is my 500,000 subscribers special video. I hope you've enjoyed learning some of these facts about me, which I'm sure you didn't know before. If there's anything you'd like me to make videos on in the future, let me know in a comment down below. And yeah, I guess we'll sign this off with next one hopefully will be out of million subscribers damn that 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 sounds very weird coming out of my mouth that sounds that sounds crazy but yeah if that ever happens i will probably make another one of these milestone videos until then i'll see you guys every single thursday uploading brand new content see you guys in the next one peace Everyone follow me at Alexia Milera. <laughs> That's M I L I A R A S I. Okay, bye.